Are you wondering how to use green screen on CapCut? In this short tutorial, I will walk you through the steps of removing a green screen in your CapCut projects. I'll walk you through each step of the process, so even if you're new to editing with CapCut, this video can help. Just make sure to watch this video until the very end so that you don't make any mistakes in this process. To get started, open up the CapCut app, and then go over to your existing CapCut project or create a new one. I'm just going to create a new project. And then make sure you have your background footage and the green screen footage saved to your files. The reason why you want background footage is that once we remove the green screen, it will have a transparent background, so you need something as the background for your green screen. So this is the video that I want to overlay the green screen on top of. Once you've got your video ready, what you want to do next is tap on overlay. And then tap on add overlay and then select the video that you want to remove the green screen from. So once you import that file, you can adjust its size to fit the scene. Just with your two fingers, you can zoom in on the video. And then swipe through the toolbar at the bottom until you see an option called, Cut Out. Once you find it, simply tap on it. And now you'll see three different options. Since we are working with a green screen, just tap on the chroma key. And then select the color that you want to remove. In this case, it's green. Once you select the green color, tap on intensity. And then adjust this slider. You'll see that as you increase it, the green background will disappear. And if you have color leaks around your video, tap on shadow. And play around with the slider until it's fixed. So now, if I play this, you can see it has no green, and the subscribe button appears as it should in a video. So now all you have to do next is tap on the export button at the top right corner of the screen and save it to your gallery. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.